Luka Doncic after the game he was getting torched. Brian Windhorst did a hit on Scott Van Pelt that was very composed like Windhorst always is, but incredibly scathing about the way this guy acts. And you know, I watched the game last night, you guys saw it. Like he is he is complaining to the refs every single possession. Like, it never stops. Why doesn't Jason Kidd tell him to shut up? Because he's the coach of the team. Uh, you're right. You would think that would be a part of the program, but the nature of the NBA is Luka's more powerful than Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd, you know, there was a time Jason Kidd was the man 10 years ago, 20 years ago. No one was saying anything to him. Like, when he fouled out, he yelled at the bench, you better effing challenge that. And it was a stupid challenge that was never going to be overturned, and it wasn't. And then... 30 seconds later, later, there was a challengeable play that they couldn't challenge because they wasted the challenge on Luka because he was being a suck. And, you know, defensively, he got torched, and he was complaining nonstop, and he fouled out. It was just a bad look. And he was complaining after, too, Brian. Yes. Like, it's it's not enough that you were complaining and you're, and you're diving all over the place. Maybe after the game, just kind of leave it alone. Like, right. you, you said your piece, you did your thing, you, you did the act. Like, I, I don't know why he needs to keep going at it. Well, after. guys, in his defense, I will say this. It's pissy and it's petulant, whatever you want to call it. But there is a guy that's done everything in his power. And sometimes you feel like you're on an island. And you probably know you're not good enough and you're not getting the support. And you know you're not going to win. So it's the ultimate frustration. The guy played his ass off and played extremely well to get them to this point, and he hasn't mm-hmm. exactly got any support, and that yeah. leads to the frustration. And you're just looking for an avenue to vent, and that's what he's done because he knows it's game over, yeah. and he's pissed off. Yep, I, I, that's fair. That's reasonable. There is a, I'm just saying there is a competitive element to I it where he's just that. extremely disappointed because he's played so well to get them there. Mm-hmm. No support. Ultimately, it's not going to happen. And in his head, he's got to be thinking, man, I've had the Luka game time after time after time to get us here. Kyrie or the supporting staff can't step up and hold us in this series, and it pisses you off. Yeah. It's like playing a golf match with a guy that stinks the joint out. It's like, are you ever going to do anything? It's I've very frustrating. It rather soon. <laughs> yeah, it's you, very frustrating. Have you experienced that recently? My buddy Joe, the other day, I'm not going to say his last name, but yeah, I was on an island. Yeah, I was on an island. All right. Dude, it sucks for the other guy, man. Like I've been that other guy when you know you can play better and you're just having a bad day and you know this guy's relying on you and you can't give him anything. You want to crawl into a hole, man. That's it. You want to crawl feeling. into a hole. It's an yeah. awful feeling, but we're amateur chops this that's is right this you know is, that that's going to happen when you're talking about professionals making that kind of money that's what you I'm would saying. think that somebody would step up the worst part of that the golf thing is how many times do you say to your buddy and the guys you're playing with guys i don't usually play like oh this. i know that's the and it's how it's many times <laughs> you you know how stupid you sound because when other guys say you're like yeah of course dude and yeah, then sure. but you have to say it. you got to give yourself a shot like i'm throwing a lifeline out here hopefully you guys understand i'm better than this I had to ask my buddy. I had to ask my buddy, like, flat out in the cart. He was just so distraught. I asked him, I said, like, is there worse than this available from you? (laughs) That's helpful. he goes, I know. It wasn't a nice thing to say, but I was. I just had to. I had to find out for myself. I said, "Is there worse out there? Like, is it?" And he just shook his head and he's like, "No, bottom of the barrel." Dude, in the group text, he texted my other buddy because my other buddy gave him a hug on the 13th, and he said, "Thanks for the hug. I needed that." And I was like, "God, that's depressing, dude. You gotta find no new buddies, man. Who are you playing with? That's shanking everything and that's sad. Getting hugs and really. He said, "Thanks for the hug." I needed that, and yeah, then the other tough. guy wrote back, "It's all right." And everyone, and I'm just like, "What? Are, what are we? What are that's we doing tough. here?" Anyway, Luca clip. All right, Luca post game last night. We couldn't play physical, so uh, I don't know. I don't want to say nothing, but uh, you know, six foul in the NBA Finals, uh, where I basically I'm like this. Uh, come on, man, better than that. So yeah, he's. Again, he's bent out of shape, and everything you said is accurate. He's a young guy, first NBA Finals. But it's got to be a learning lesson, and you've got to challenge – you have to channel it, I guess is the point. It's never going to help you. You're, it's never going to be oh, something that John benefits Tavares you. the John Tavares line, the learning lesson. Well, wow. it's it, – What is the learning a, lesson, Hayes? He can't bitch and complain yes, in the Finals? I mean, it's pretty obvious. You can't – if you're going to go at the rest the whole time, if that's where your energy's going, it's not going to work for you. 
Like I understand it. There are example. There are certain times for it. There are egregious moments. I, you're getting pissed off. You feel like he got fouled or whatever. But watching him last night, and really this has been his rep since he got in the league, it is constant. Like it never stops. And it's not only about how the refs are going to perceive you because they're not probably going to help you much, but it's where your energy's going. You know, and it's sulking. It's like you're. How is that helping? I blame your the organization, team? man. That's just the way. It's like the superstar on a team because everyone is so deathly afraid of their star player saying, mm -hmm. "I don't like the way I'm treated here. I'm going to leave." And if Luca leaves, they're screwed. So they probably don't say boo to him about anything. Yep, he's the most powerful man in the organization. Yeah. And if you totally hand over the keys to the car to somebody and they you say your best player, your leader, you can do whatever you want. You're going to win some games, and you're going to do a bunch of good things, but it's a dangerous game to say you can do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. Listen, emotion's a great thing. I'm not I'm not saying – That is a positive. Don't At play least he with cares. emotion and play yeah, he does with, yeah, care. with energy and all that kind of stuff. It just – if it's all the time, constant, like it just – it's not going to work for you. Like you've got to scale it back in certain areas, uh, and I'm not sure Luke is capable of doing that right now.